Number 10, the moose. Don't let the misleading cartoon grin fool you. Moose are among the most dangerous animals on the planet. They're extremely aggressive creatures, fearless, unpredictable, and likely to attack anyone that they feel is trespassing in their space, just generally getting up in their grill. They're unpredictable though, so there's a chance they might leave you alone. It's not a gamble we'd recommend taking. You can be sure of one thing though. If disturbed or threatened, they'll retaliate by charging towards you with an aggressive speed and force. They commonly attack humans with their deadly antlers and chunky hooves. In fact, this mammal attacks more people annually than bears and have a no-tolerance policy when it comes to defending a calf. But they aren't just aggressive, they're also massive. A moose's shoulder height usually ranges between five to six and a half feet, which makes them easily as tall as most of us, and carrying a hell of a lot more weight behind them weighing up to a whopping 1,800 pounds. Curiously, they're also pretty flipping fast and able to run at 35 miles per hour. A recent case in 2006 saw a former Grand Lake Mayor, Louis Hackett, attacked by an 800 pound bull moose while he was walking to church, which he later died of severe head injuries. Hikers often find themselves being stomped, but dogs seem to be the most common cause of aggravation, as moose tend to perceive them as being predators. Number 9. The Slow Loris Look at those lovely innocent eyes. Sure, the Slow Loris might look adorable, but actually it's the world's only venomous primate. But for such a cute creature, the Slow Loris doesn't have it easy. Usually found in the countries surrounding Indonesia, they are often illegally captured by humans for alleged and deeply spurious medicinal reasons, which very cruelly involve the animal being roasted alive. But the toxin they carry can easily kill. Released from the sides of its elbows, the loris takes the toxin into its mouth and mixes it with saliva whenever it feels threatened. The toxic bite that follows causes an anaphylactic shock, which mostly means death after a couple of hours of extremely nasty pain. Because of this, the illegal traders who catch and sell them commonly remove the creature's teeth with wire cutters. We only risk the poor slow loris and being gifted with the speed it needs to get away from these gits. Number 8. Big Cats no, it isn't a normal cat that's currently just very close to your face. It's a cat that's physically very large. And they're famously extremely dangerous to humans. So if you do get this close to one in real life, you should probably consider being somewhere else. Lions, tigers, jaguars, leopards and cheetahs are all capable of killing a human with relative ease. They're huge in size, with tigers available in weights of up to 225 kilograms. They mix considerable physical strength with bone-crushing jaws, razor-sharp teeth, and long, sharp claws. And they're also a hell of a lot faster than you, which makes it very unlikely that you're going to get away. The main issue is that they're natural predators which means a whole bunch of stuff can trigger an attack even if a cat has normally been docile. This knowledge, of course, makes it fairly insane that some people choose to keep big cats as pets. Experts refer to these exotic pets as ticking time bombs waiting to go off. The attack on famed illusionist Roy Horn by his tiger Monticore is one famous example of a seemingly tame animal suddenly snapping back into a nastier mode. Number 7. The Cassowary The Cassowary is an extravagant ostrich found in the rainforests of Australia and New Guinea. He prefer to maintain a low profile, but disturbing this part of this bird will lead to it becoming exceedingly aggressive and territorial. Capable of running and leaping at high speeds, the Cassowary attacks by thrusting his large claws forward to disembowel its target. Declared as the most dangerous bird in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records, its five inch long claws are effectively like daggers. Thankfully, there's only been one documented human death caused by the cassowary. In 1926, Philip McLean, age 16, was killed after he and his brother attempted to beat a cassowary to death with clubs. 
which to be fair is clearly asking for trouble. The bird charged at the plane, knocking him down and then slashing his neck, opening a wound which may have severed an artery. He escaped, but later died. It's estimated that there have been 150 cassowary attacks on humans in Queensland, many involving tourists unaware of the bird's brutal reputation. No one has died since 1926, but we've seen a selection of severe injuries, including broken bones, puncture wounds, and a variety of lacerations. Number six, the poison dart frog. Among the most poisonous creatures on our planet, the poison dart frog's eccentric colours serve as a potential warning for predators to stay clear. In body length, they range between less than an inch to two and a half, and there are more than 100 different types of poison dart frogs, varying in pattern and colour. The name of these dastardly hopping fellas is derived from the American Indian tribes that used to use the frog's poison to create deadly darts for hunting. But not all arrow frogs are deadly. Only three species pose a danger to humans. The most deadly is the golden poison arrow frog. Its poison, atricotoxin, can kill small animals and humans with ease. And when we say it can kill small animals, one golden poison dart frog alone has enough poison to kill 20,000 mice. Obviously, due to the high toxin levels produced by the frog, it doesn't have a great deal of predators in the wild. The majority of animals will become severely sick just from licking a poison dart frog, so naturally most have learned just not to approach them. Today, there is only one known species of snake that is known to be immune to this poison which you'd think would give the frogs an excellent chance of survival. However, numerous species of the frog are considered to be critically in danger in the wild, predominantly due to pollution and habit. Number five, the wolverine. Thanks to the popularity of X-Men, most people are aware that wolverines are likely to be aggressive creatures with huge sideburns and adamantium skeletons. Well, they're aggressive creatures. They're cunning, strong, and have a well-deserved reputation for being smart. They have sharp claws and powerful jaws, and you've got yourself a recipe for trouble. With an appearance that looks like a mix between a bear cub and a dog, the wolverine is actually the largest member of the weasel family. They can avoid traps with ease, but often go further by killing whatever they find caught in these said traps. Their fearsome reputation is such that the indigenous people of the Siberian North believe that the wolverine, not the bear, is the master of the boreal forests. The wolves often abandon their dead prey and head off to hunt again once they've satisfied their initial hunger. But wolverines behave differently, tearing up the carcass of their kill and proceeding to hide pieces of it in numerous locations, not leaving the area until every piece has been eaten, including the bones. And here's one last fact to help fuel those nightmares. Despite putting the animals in captivity for several generations, the wolverine cannot be tamed. Number four, the leopard seal. The leopard seal is the second largest species of seal in the Antarctic. Muscular and large in size, these grey creatures get their name from the black spots on their throats ranging between 2.4 to 3.5 meters in length and weighing between 200 and 600 kilograms, killer whales are the only known natural predator of leopard seals, and for good reason. Their razor-sharp front teeth are usually only used for targeting penguins, but the leopard seal has been known to also hunt humans. In 1985, Scottish explorer Gareth Wood was bitten twice on the leg when a leopard seal attempted to drag him off the ice and into the sea. And in 2003, sadly, a British marine biologist called Kirsty Brown was dragged underwater, which eventually led to her death. The first recorded human fatality caused by a leopard seal. Number three, the blue-ringed octopus. Blue-ringed octopuses are among the most deadly and venomous animals in the sea. Several people suffer by it every year some of which proved to be fatal. In Australia, blue rings often appear in the shallow coastal waters frequented by beachgoers, which is where the biggest problems seem to start. Victims are usually unaware of the danger and assume that they aren't putting themselves in 
any kind of trouble by touching or even picking up this apparently harmless creature. But then comes the trouble. The bite from the animal itself is minor, producing just a small laceration with no more than a tiny drop of blood and little or no discoloration. Bites are generally reported as being painless, with victims often not even knowing that they've been bitten, which unsurprisingly makes it very difficult for emergency medical personnel to determine exactly what's wrong. It's even been questioned whether the octopus actually needs to bite to inject its venom into a human. Cases involving prolonged contact have suggested that it may be able to pass directly through the skin. Depending on how much venom has been transferred into the wound, the onset of symptoms can be quite rapid. Within 5 to 10 minutes, the victim begins to experience paresthesias and numbness, aggressive muscular weakness, and difficulty breathing and swallowing. Nausea and vomiting, visual disturbances and difficulty speaking may also occur. The most chilling effect of all though is probably just the overall paralysis. Interestingly, the victim's heart continues to beat right up until extreme asphyxia sets in, which means many victims report being conscious but unable to speak or move. They may even appear to be clinically dead with pupils fixed and dilated. Number two, the pufferfish. The pufferfish is considered to be the second most poisonous vertebrate on Earth. Its poison, which is known to be 1,200 times more lethal than cyanide, has no known antidote and kills by paralyzing the diaphragm and causing suffocation. There's enough poison in one pufferfish to kill 30 adult humans, which makes it unusual to say the least that it's sometimes served as a dish in Japan. Fugu, as it's known, is expensive, apparently delicious, but also possibly might kill you. I can think of at least five delicious things that definitely won't kill me, so to be honest, I'll probably just stick with them. So why do people eat it? Well, aside from those who enjoy the thrill of literally living life on the edge, the toxin is known to have some pleasant benefits. Now, it certainly isn't a practice that we recommend trying, but apparently neurotoxins can get you high, providing the doses are low enough. One scientist described neurotoxic venom as providing the kind of peaceful, light-headed feeling that people are supposedly supposed to experience in the last few moments before they drown. And pair that with the sensation of a tingling body, and it's apparently enough to get people risking their lives for a fancy dinner. Chefs have to be properly trained to even handle the fish, as one wrong cut can make a serving deadly. Still, fugu enthusiasts are difficult to please, often complaining that chefs are too effective at cleanly removing the organs from the fish, leaving thin slices of safe fish that don't provide the buzz they crave. Famed out to Bando Mitsuguro the Eighth once deliberately ordered four fugu livers just to feel the rush, stating that the poison wouldn't hurt him. Seven hours later, he was dead. Number one, monkeys and apes. Although the similarity between apes and humans often creates the sense of a natural bond, it does also mean that the lethal diseases carried by monkeys and apes can be easily transmitted to humans. Even a bite from a small monkey can lead to the transmission of viruses like hepatitis C. And larger apes like chimpanzees and orangutans, or even gorillas if we're getting properly chunky and scary here, are powerful animals that are capable of attacking humans if they feel threatened. Most monkeys come from tropical areas, which means unfortunately, tropical diseases. Due to the ease in which viruses can travel between monkeys and humans, their naturally adapted immunity to a whole variety of things can make them very dangerous carriers of very dangerous diseases. The diseases that monkeys can transmit to humans include yellow fever and malaria, to name but a few, and usually depend on mosquitoes, ticks and biting fleas to transfer the diseases from monkeys to humans. But monkeys are also unpredictable, occasionally attacking strangers or even family members if it finds them threatening or simply a rival for attention or affection. So while they may be one of our closest relatives in terms of DNA, monkey business 
isn't always fun and games. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. For more top 10 lists, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the button you can see.